Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my Unity 3D Atomic Tutorial Series. In this particular tutorial, we are going to take a look at printing debug info into our console. Now this is a very useful command for uh, debugging your scripts. Like, you know, say you have an input script and you're trying to figure out if the input's actually working properly. A very quick and easy way without giving it any form of logic is just using debug.log and then printing out a message and then you'll know if it works and then you can go on ahead and put in your logic as well it can also be useful for finding errors alright so this particular tutorial will be using JavaScript and there will be a C sharp version of this so we're just gonna right click create JavaScript and I already created the folders and I'm gonna call this JS for JavaScript and debug message. All right, I'm gonna double click and open this up inside of Unisite or whatever editor you happen to be using. Now, we could put this in the function update, which means that it would print out constantly. And while that's useful and all, and wouldn't really matter for this tutorial, it's kind of annoying and we won't be using it. So instead, we are going to switch over and get rid of that and we're gonna use the start function. All right. So now how do we actually print a message to console? Well, create a quick comment here. Print message to console debug.log. Alright, so this right here is the setup for the debug.log and its parameters. And it accepts a string, so I'm gonna call this hello world, and then I'm gonna save it and then tab back over to Unity. And you can see down here it's compiling. And I'm just gonna attach this to our camera since it really doesn't matter what script it's attached to. And I'm just gonna press play. And down here at the bottom, you can see it says hello world. And in our console it says hello world. All right, so that concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions, stop by the forum or the IRC, both are in the description as well if you'd like go ahead and follow me on Twitter and keep up to date with what new tutorials are coming out and when they're being uploaded 